today we're going to be connecting some of the water services up to the van and basically getting the water system all ready so we can just connect the tanks up and it's all good for water right first of all we're going to do the toilet there's a couple of components we need and i'm going to talk through them in a minute but first of all let's get you in the back of the toilet i know shit place to be but you've got to go there get you in there and i'll show you exactly what i mean Right, so basically you've got the pipe that comes off the toilet there, which is a 15 mil. You've got your water services pipe there, which is a 12 mil. Now you get to connect the 12 mil to the 15 mil, which is relatively easy because we get one of these. That is a 15 mil to 12 mil converter. So this will go inside the 15 mil pipe and then it will connect to the actual 12 mil pipe. But there's only one thing. I don't want it to be on a kink. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put an elbow on there, I'm going to put a small pipe on there, just so everything sort of meets up and lines in in one go. Yeah, there's going to be a couple of pipes in there, but to me it just makes sense because I don't want to be bending, you know, flex and stuff like that. I want it all to be straight angles and no strain on any of the connections. So, first of all we've got to get this in there and then we can connect this up to a short pipe and then go up to this one right now what i've done is i've came in and i've taken this pipe off and i've replaced it with this piece of flexi because the 15 mil connection wasn't actually going into there that's life so i've got that on there i've replaced the end there and put a jubilee clip on what we're going to do is this just attaches to the inside of the toilet onto the pump there and then it's held on by a clip on the side so if we screw this end on which is just inside there which yes I know is a pain in the ass for you to see also there's a little rubber seal I nearly forgot that goes inside there so pop that little rubber seal in and then this pipe just connects onto there inside the toilet so we're going to try and get that in and there we go that is now all safe all secure all sound and all fitted lovely now we've got the accumulator off what we're going to do is we're just going to put this connection onto this side which it literally just screws in don't over tighten them just nice and finger tight and then give it a little nip and then we want to take this one which is to a 12 mil push fit same job with this we're going to screw it on this side we're not going to go crazy because it's got a seal inside we're just going to tighten it up by hand until we feel the pressure and that will be fine so now what we can do is we can hold that there we can screw this side onto the pump again don't go mad tightening it just finger tight put the accumulator in the place where we want it now that we've got the pump to the accumulator we just need to then go and cut this pipe because it's going to be going into the actual side of the accumulator so we're going to cut this pipe just short of the actual knuckle which is just there and then we can undo it from the van put the end piece in and push it home into place so we'll get that cut now and then put the end cap in and push it in so we're going to take our cutters we're going to cut this take our end piece again right so now we've got the pump connected to the accumulator connected to the mains pipe we've got a shut off valve there so we can turn the water off anytime we want well now i'm just going to take these small clips they're just like half moon clips and what they do is where the connection of your actual pipe goes in they just go on top they push over the pipe so the clip can't be pushed in and the pipe can't come out and then we can go around all the other connections in the van and put these on all the connections right so the next thing we need to do for the actual bathroom is get all this insulated get the toilet out get it the reflectors up there cut a piece of ply and then ply in this back section of the actual toilet Right, well that's the um, insulation and the vapour barrier done. 
Now the awkward bit to get the ply in. Not looking forward to this. There might be some drama. There's one um, important aspect that no one tells you when you're building vans. And that is that you need lots of snacks. All the time. Snacks, snacks, and more snacks. 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 Don't choke on your snacks though. <coughs> right, so that's the stars on the shower. We've got the back panel in, we've got the framework for the side in. The furniture board will go up there and it'll fit in nice and neat so we can get this side of it all tidied off. Got the toilet in, all in place. We have cut out for the toilet in the back as well, but we need to put the pair specs on there and then just cut the hole in the back of the pair specs for the toilet. Pretty easy job, pretty simple, just a case of you know getting it in there and getting it you know secured up on the top. We've done a frame across the top as well to tie these two sides in and the back sides in as well. So all that is nice and sturdy and solid and this is going nowhere. Inside of the shower will be going there with the pair specs on. And then the front is going to be furniture boards with pair specs on the inside as well. Right, next, PVC. Tip for you. Seen loads of people cutting them with tin snips and things like that. Just use a jigsaw. Don't use a knife, just use a jigsaw. Use tin snips and it'll split off and you'll wreck a panel. So, cut it with a jigsaw. Simple. There's a feeling. Right, so we got the back of the shower in. Just gonna leave that overnight now just to basically get all stuck. Put the fan in, put the extractor in as well. Right, so the actual shower head is gonna be sitting on here. There's gonna be ply inside here, which will basically marry up to this, and then the pair specs on front of it. Then we'll drill through and we'll put the shower fixings on there as well. This side is gonna be a false wall so we can get to all the fixtures and the fittings of the shower anytime we want. This part is going to be cupboardry, Cu cupboardry, cupboardry, we'll go with it, it's going to be a cupboard, um, the main part as well is going to have a USB um, socket in the top so it can charge things like the GoPro and um, the radios, things like that, and they're all out the way, they've all got the specific place, not causing any problems to anything else that's going on in the van. So. That's that done. We just need to do the sides next. Put the furniture board on this side. So it then meets up with this, which is all perfect. We've measured in for the actual furniture board. So that will meet up with this. And it will go down to the bench seat and it'll look all neat. Put the air vent through into the shower. Once we've done the actual inner wall of the shower, put that in and pair specs that as well. So, right, let's crack on with the next job. Right, so we've cut a template out of some cardboard on the back basically so we could get the curve on the inner edge which is in there um, made a template then we can transfer it over onto the furniture board and we can cut it out so we need the front template out of the furniture board going on first because that's going to be getting screws from the inside basically so we're not showing any of the screws but it needs to be done first now we've done the template We've put it on the furniture board, marked it out, time to cut it with the jigsaw. We don't like cutting furniture boards because it's expensive. And we have a habit, well I have a habit of fuck it up. She's standing there laughing at me.
Áo giá rồi em Can we go away now? So basically what we done next was we cut the hole in for the extractor fan and got the vent put on there and made all that sealed and made it all waterproof and nice and neat. Then if you've seen the scribing video, we've actually cut the sides out, scribed the sides in for the left hand side and the right hand side out of the ply, fitted the ply to the insides, then we went round the ply with some Sikaflex Sunny Seal just to give it a base seal in the corners and the edges. Then we put the actual PVC on the sides, which is like a food grade sort of safety PVC. It's an antibacterial PVC, which is absolutely brilliant to work with. It's great for working in bathrooms and small places, and it's only three millimeters as well. So we covered the ply in the Sunny Seal and then brought the panels in and stuck them to either side of the bathroom, sealing it all off, waited for it to all go off, and then we went around the bottom and in the edges with sunny seal and got them all looking nice, tidy and waterproof. Right, well that's the two sides, the back end. All you're gonna do now is fit the um, the shower fittings, which are gonna go on there, wire them all in. We're not gonna wire them all in at all because they've got no wires. It's pipes, pipe work, Neil. Stupid person, what an idiot. Wires, no, wires and water, dickhead. Right, anyway, rant over. We're gonna plumb them in, we've got all the fixings, we've got all the fittings. That's the next job. Then, it's the case of put the front on. We are trying, at the minute, to source a timbre door. That just goes sideways. Not one that curves round, just a side sliding timbre door. So, fingers crossed we can get that, and you'll see that after we've fitted the front on and the fixings. Well, that time's come. Honey. Fit the shower time. Well, not the shower. The mixer tap. The mixer tap. So, basically, the mixer taps are a 15mm pipe that go into your mixer taps. Now, the pipe that we're using in the van is 12mm pipe. How do we combat 12 to 15? I know. 15mm to 12mm push fit. So, we're going to be using these, which are a 15mm, like Emma's just said, to 12mm push fit. But... We don't want the pipes coming straight out like that. So we've gone and got these little bad boys, which are just that angle converters. It's an um, uppity side downer. <laughs> I, I don't know whether it's 45 or 90. It's, it's that one. Okay? 90. This one. That one, but going that way. So they are going to go on there like that coming down and then the 12 mil to 15 is going to screw into the bottom of them just like so and then our 12 mil pipe from the water feeds and the pumps in the van are running straight up and going straight in to the 12 mil feed right so when you are applying ptfe tape to your fixings and fittings the best thing to do is it screws in that way so you want to put the PTFE tape on the opposite way to the thread. That way, when you screw it in, it's not going to get all jammed up and it's not going to get all caught. So we're going to take our PTFE tape. You don't have to go absolutely mad. And then we can cut that there. And then what happens now is, because the tail's coming off this way, like so, when we tighten this up and screw it in there, none of the PTFE tape is going to get caught. And because the PTFE tape is going this way and you're screwing that way, we're actually, in theory, tightening the PTFE tape up as we tighten the actual knuckle in itself. Don't forget, these are plastic fittings, so you don't need to go crazy. I would just go hand tight like that. If you've got a good strong grip, that will do. That's enough. Don't go mad, don't go crazy, because you will split these and crack them, and then you're screwed. Got our holes in. We've put our woods on the back. We've pushed the actual... Fossil through, 
we've checked on the back we've seen where they go into the actual fittings we've marked them up and we've measured them on there where the actual meat and then we need to cut basically this much off on each pipe right so we just measured them and we've realized that we need to cut it down by just this much so the pipes will go through the wall and they will fit on the other side nice and snug into these sockets there fittings i'm not a plumber so we don't know what this shit's called it's just stuff you know what i mean bobbins bobbins yeah so bobbins. the pipes are going to fit into the bobbins you know what i mean correct me if i'm wrong because i don't know what they're called she doesn't know what they're called bobbins bobbins we're not professional we're just doing this in style anyway right so they're going to go in there um just we're just going to cut them do you know what i mean you're going to get one of these doobries right that's a pipe cutter the pipe cutter cuts pipe keep going i'm kaboom get the yourself nice pipe nice end that'll fit in there perfect now and then that marries up to that mark that i've just put on there and that's wonderful what is it wonderful right so that's the shower all in place and then round the back of the shower we've all tightened it all up use pcfe on these joints here they're all just push fits with isolating valves on them so if anything goes wrong i can literally just reach into this cupboard and i can turn the water off this section of the cupboard is going to be actually left wide open well it's going to have a door on it but this section here is going to be open just so if anything does go wrong we've got access to the ports rather than burying them in the walls and praying and hoping we do have a bit of a drip there so that one probably needs a bit of a tighten up but that's not the end of the world and then we're going to test the shower we haven't got the front on the shower so all i can do is just test it this end and i'll say that works right next thing to do is to put the front on and do the ceiling and put some lights in we'll get there 